This week's Parsha, Emor, contains a detailed list of regulations pertaining to the priests and the sacrifices. And at the very end of all of these regulations, we get this instruction. When you sacrifice a thanksgiving offering to the Lord, it shall be eaten on the same day. You shall not leave any of it until morning. Now, all of the sacrifices have time limits, periods of time in which they need to be consumed, but some of them extend for several days. And so the very short time limit of the korban todah, of the Thanksgiving offering, begs the question, why would the time limit for this offering, this offering that celebrates our gratitude at some wonderful thing that's happened in our lives, why should that be so short? The Ishbitzer Rebbe, Reb Mordechai Yosef Leiner, offers the idea that the Korban Todah is meant to teach us to live in the moment. He writes that a person must give thanks for the past and pray for the future. We can't act on the past. It has happened already, and the future is beyond our reach. Our actions are limited to this moment, the moment that we're in now as the only time that we really, truly can possess. And we suffer from life's impermanence. We long for a past that is gone, and consequently we miss out on the present. And all too often, our experience of the present is colored by the knowledge that it too will pass, whether for good or otherwise, and the moment will be gone. The Torah's requirement that we eat the Korban Todah on a single day forces us to reconcile with these two facts of life. The past is behind us. The future hasn't come yet. With respect to those things that have gone, all I can do is offer thanks for the good that was there. And as for the future that hasn't come, I can only pray that it be a good future. But I live in the moment not by denying the impermanence of life, but by accepting it. And in requiring us to eat the Korban Todah on that very day, the Torah asks of us that we be willing to engage with this challenging but inevitable truth of life. So this week, as we read the laws of the Korban Todah, May we, too, find the opportunity to give thanks for the past, to pray for the future, and to live in the moment. Shabbat Shalom.